Good morning, good morning. Hello, world. All right. Oh, I'm tired. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I slept pretty well last night, so here we go. Fall off a sneeze there. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you a few things, but before I do that, take a look at where I am in my parents' garden. Pretty nice place to be this early in the morning, especially... We got birds, we got things singing in the background. We got butterflies growing over there. And now what I'm gonna show you is what I can do with my cool new piece of technology. So here we have my two devices. This is the patient programmer. This is the communicator. What this does is when I press buttons on here, like say I were to turn that off, I'm not gonna do that right now, maybe at some other point in the future, but say I were to turn that off, that would do is it communicate from here to here, which would then communicate to the battery, to my chest, which would then send a signal from the battery of the wires, which travel along this route here. And yeah, that's, I don't know how well you can see it, but that's a wire, it's not a vein, which then goes to a bundle of wires that's up here, which then comes down to the little caps that I have on the top of my skull now which will be there probably for the rest of my life. <clears throat> so, if I were to turn that off, what that would do is it would send that signal, relay that message across, so I, I want to turn it off. But I'm not going to do that right now. It's a little too early for that. And, um, yeah. Then there's the therapy button. So there I can toggle left and right, up and down, whatever notches I want. And if we go back a little bit more, here we have the battery button. So there's also another cool feature. Tells me how much longer I have left to live. No. <laughs> Tells me how much longer until I need to replace the battery. So yeah, that is in essence what this thing can do. But that was kind of the standard old method of DBS. One of the newer things that this thing can do, called the Percept device from Medtronic, is you can also read the activity in my brain. Uh, and then, so basically what it's doing when it's doing that is it has these, between each contact point, there are receptors that can read the beta waves or the oscillations in the brain. I think there are five different kinds of waves that it could theoretically read. But I think the one that it's, the software is programmed to read is the beta waves. <clears throat> Those beta waves are thought to be pathological in some people, meaning uh, they are the, a sign of disease. And what that means is if I press one of these buttons, so see the events button, if I were to press one of those features on this device, then what that would do is it would relay that message from here to here to the battery, up to the electrodes in my brain, that I am about to go biking or that I feel tremor. And I feel a bit of tremor rigidity now. So if you press that, let's see what it does. So again, it's sending that signal. It's telling this device, which is telling the device my battery, which is telling the things in my electrodes, to start recording the activity. And uh, yeah, tremor rigidity recorded. So what that means is it's trying, it just, uh, picked up the beta wave signal and said, okay, this guy is feeling a little bit of tremor rigidity. Let's see what these beta waves are doing. And then we're gonna try and correlate the two things together. And eventually over time, hopefully it'll improve to the point where we'll understand, what the hell is that? Ah, <laughs> whatever. Much better than we do today. Um, just what is going on here and maybe how to fix it as well. <laughs> 